What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. With that being said, man, I'm, I'm going to speak on a statement that Jeannie Buss just made um, uh, recently. I think she made it on a park. No, it was uh, she she did an interview where she said that um, Jeannie Buss said that LeBron James, because of his performance in the Olympics, was like the greatest ball, the greatest basketball player, um, you know, of all time. And so a lot of people feel like she slighted, Jeannie Buss slighted Kobe Bryant when she said that, you know, and, and so a lot of people are like really, um, really offended by this, this statement that, you know, that, that LeBron James is, is the greatest uh basketball player of all time just because of his uh his his performance in the olympics right and so to me i, I think now i definitely disagree with her and and i'm just waiting for lakers nation man for these people in lakers nation really to stand up and to and to push back now she she is getting some pushback right now but i i'm i'm really looking forward to to this season coming up, you know, um, like I said, this season coming up, I think I think everything, you know, is going to hit the fan. All this stuff is going to hit the fan. Um, I don't, you know, because number one, they're already, ESPN already predicting the Lakers to finish 11 in the West. And so now you you have a guy who you, you you know you're touting him as being the greatest of all time because of his his recent performance in the uh, Olympics, and when the season start, they're being with the same guy, the same you know, uh, uh, the team that they had last year. They're predicting LeBron James and the, and the Los Angeles Lakers to finish eleventh in the West. And uh, yeah, man, I, I just think that you know this situation is going to get ugly. I'm looking forward to uh, Lakers fans just being, you know, just being outraged and and uh, you know going at the Lakers. Uh, I think I think what the Lakers are banking on the fact that um, you know people are going to buy into the Bronny James Lebron situation. You know, as far as like uh, Lebron James farewell tour and. And all that stuff. Uh, and, you know, and, and then another thing is like the Lakers do have a, a new head coach. They got J.J. Raddick. That is going to, you know, maybe be another distraction. You you know, you got a first time head coach. Uh, you know, a, a first time head coach with with, you know, with no experience on any level. And so. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm curious to see how that situation is going to turn out, you know, like, well, like, will LeBron be the, um, well, he basically be the head coach and, you know, and, and, you know, playing on a team at the same time because JJ Reddick don't have any experience. Now, from, from what I hear, they are surrounding JJ Reddick with, you know, some veteran, some veteran coaches. So, you know, that was, you know, in itself, that was a smart move. Um, I want to let me I want to see if I can I can read some comments. Of some Lakers fans, um, you know, pushing back. On Jeannie Buss saying that LeBron James was the greatest of all time. Um, let me see. One one uh, one comment, one person left a comment saying that. LeBron not better than Shaq or Kobe, and um, I I, I tend to agree I, because I don't you know, and I'm just not a LeBron fan. Um, you know, I, I know he's definitely not better. I don't think he. I can agree with that. I really don't think he's better than Shaq or Kobe. Um, let me see another comment that said that uh, Jeannie needs to stop embarrassing herself and uh, and the Lakers franchise. And I agree with that. You know, I think when she makes statements like this, um, like I don't even think LeBron is the he, he's the best Laker of all time. You got uh Jerry West, Kobe Bryant, Magic Johnson, 
Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, uh, Shaq. So you got, you know, like that's potentially five ball players just in the Lakers franchise that could be ahead of, 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 of LeBron James. And so, you know, uh, you know, I, yeah, I just think that I agree with this. This uh, this person who left a comment that said that uh, Jeannie Bus is really basically embarrassing herself, and she embarrassing the franchise. Um, yeah, and so another comment to this this guy right here says that uh, how does she have LeBron ahead of Magic Johnson? First of all, yeah, that's true. You know, like I always would put Magic ahead of LeBron. Um, and and so LeBron has been with with the Lakers as well since he's been with the Lakers they didn't win a championship that was in the bubble and so some people kind of want to put an asterisk um, next to that and I would agree you know I would I would I would like to put an uh, asterisk next to that just because um, you know that that year that they won in the bubble it's just like people wasn't really focused on you know on that championship. You know, we had, uh, you know, uh, you know, going through the pandemic and everything, people really wasn't really, you know, a lot of players didn't want to be in that situation playing in that bubble. Um, some players didn't show up. And so, you know, that, that, you know, that, that year, that it should have been like an asterisk against that one. Um, LeBron, they did win the mid season tournament last year, which to me, it's a new tournament, and I don't really think like people are really getting up for that tournament. Like they, there's really like no incentive for the uh, for the midseason tournament. So, you know, I really can't see how they how Jeannie Buss just had have LeBron ranked ahead of all of the great Lakers. Like not even just the guys who 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 not who don't play for LA. But I don't even think he's 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 the best Laker of all times, like I said. So, and like like the uh, one of the commenters said, like she really just making the Lakers herself and the Lakers organization just making itself just look um you know look foolish. I can't wait though till uh you know until the season start and 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 Lakers fans really really come after him. I don't, I don't think it's going to be, it's, it's not going to be a good look, you know, um, because if they do finish 11th, Lakers fans want wins. They're not interested in, in, in you know, a farewell tour for uh, for uh, LeBron and Bronny James. They're not interested in having a rookie head coach with no experience, you know, uh, learning on the job. You know, Lakers, Lakers fans, have a higher standard than that. Lakers fans and um, you know, that's uh, like the Celtics. You know, no, those two organizations, I don't think you can get away with something like what LeBron is pulling off. You know, I think you can do that with teams that are not as that don't have that rich tradition like the uh Boston and LA, but with 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 Lakers fans, I don't think it's you know, it's, I think it's gonna get real ugly um real early in the season for the Lakers. And I'm looking forward to it, man. I just want to, you know, I think the Lakers fans should stand up. And they shouldn't fall for this this nonsense. I think the longer that LeBron plays, you know, the more and more he gets exposed. And, um, yeah, so I, I don't think he's doing himself no favors. But um, that's my take on it. Uh, like I said, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about, like, you know, the, the drama that's going on in L.A. with, with – uh, with LeBron James, you know, um, do you think Jeannie Buss is really making herself and the Lakers organization look like, you know, look foolish? Um, if so, you know, leave a comment. If not, leave a comment. And uh, I look forward to, you know, responding to your comments. And uh, with that being said, I'll check you all out on the next video.